villagetv.com. Looking for a man's touch? MassageM4M.com. Here is a news flash. Hello out there in Internet Wonderland. I'm Jonathan Reeves. And, I'm about. and this is the gay news. Here is a news flash. Iraq War update. So the dish is only this size. It's the size that'll fit right in your rectum. What's the gay weather looking like? Okay. All right. Well, the gay weather. Deviant sexual intercourse. I got a video to tell you all about. Oh. Oh. Hooray! So hard in Missouri. Anyways, they're dropping like flies. Leo Bucks reports on the new comedy film, Nine Dead Gay Guys. And we're going to bring Leo in right now. Leo, come on. Hey there, everyone. I'm Leo Buck here to bring you the kind of entertainment news that you're not going to find, and this time you're definitely not going to find, in the pages of People Magazine or Entertainment Weekly. Now, here at the Gay News, we take great pride in presenting stories that often fly in the face of so-called political correctness. And now there's a hot new film out there that's just about as politically incorrect as you can get. So much so even the title, Nine Dead Gay Guys, is bound to cause the terminally tolerant to go running for the damn hills. Small wonder then that it also happens to be one of the most hilarious movies that you're going to see this or any other holiday season. The story follows two supposedly straight, good old Irish lads trying to make their way among L London's often seedy gay subculture. First there's Byron, played by Brendan McMackey, and then his best mate, Kenny, played by Glenn Mulhern. By his own admission, Byron is a lazy bastard, even on the best of days, whose far primary form of legitimate employment, as he calls it, consists of going to the nearby gay pub and giving blowjobs to uh, the patrons there. When his friend Kenny arrives in London for a visit, the two put their heads together over how they can make their fortune with uh, as little work as possible. That's when the Queen, one of the bar's most infamous uh, patrons, played by former dynasty hunk Michael Prayed, doing his best impersonation of Quentin Crisp, suddenly turns up dead, and it leaves his sugar daddy, an ultra-rich, ultra-closeted Orthodox Jew they call Golders Green, which itself is a parody on one of London's best-known Jewish suburbs, in search of a new toy boy who is um, uh, equally blessed. Believing that opportunity has at last come knocking and in a really big way, uh, they set their sights on how to get hold of a huge stash of money that's said to be hidden in Green's mattress. Problem is, Green is a devout size queen also, complete with a test for anyone hoping to get past his front door. He calls it the really hard red bull test and it requires any candidate to possess an endowment that's uh, the size of two cans of red bull stacked uh, on top of each other. Ouch. Luckily, yes. Ouch. Luckily, Byron soon discovers that his buddy Kenny here uh, has just such a remarkable appendage, or is, in his words, ginormous. As if all that weren't bizarre enough, when they go about putting their plan into action, one by one, just about all the gay men they come into contact with just coincidentally, accidentally end up turning up dead, and in the most bizarre ways. Written and directed by Lab Kaimo, an Irishman of Asian descent, no wonder he's confused, Nine Dead Gay Guys marks the, his feature film debut, and you've got to love a movie that has such colorful characters as Donkey Dong Dark and a cab driver named Dick Cheese uh, Deepak, who's a Pakistani who has something of a, let's just say he has something of a problem when it comes to personal hygiene. Um, cheese? Yes. Like from under cheese? Yes. From under your balls? Yes. That's why he's never had a uh, blowjob in five years. Poor thing. Bless his heart. Throw in a 300 pound lesbian who they very appropriately call the Iron Lady, her teenage trio of studly South African enforcers who could each likewise pass that aforementioned test, and a cattle prod wielding dwarf who, who, you know, absolutely doesn't. Then you've got a John named Jeff who. Uh, a p reportedly turned to men after he literally fucked his wife to death and an old leather queen who wants Byron and Kenny in for a three-way. In fact, Nine Dead Gay Guys may even contribute a new slang term to the modern gay vernacular because here UFOs don't refer to uh, something from outer space but instead to those much dreaded bar dwellers we've all had to deal with, the ugly fat oldies. 
After a successful run in London, Dublin, and New York City, Nine Dead Gay Guys is currently playing in Los Angeles and will open this week in Palm Springs and Fort Lauderdale. It's also slated to run in San Francisco and Chicago next month. For more information, log on to www.tlareleasing.com and click on to the Nine Dead, Guys, uh, Nine Dead Gay Guys logo. Be forewarned though, this movie is definitely not for everybody, it's just for only for those who want to laugh like hell at one hell of a funny movie. Now that oh, the holiday okay, so season is here, it's play. just like they say, oh, jizz really the season to be yeah, jolly. So we thought it might be appropriate to give our viewers a few unique grown-up toy and gift ideas, the kind that are much nicer when you're naughty. The entire history of gay porn, one name stands out above all others, Jeff Stryker. He's the enormously uh, gifted and world-famous adult performer who has been on the top for over a decade. And now, besides making some of the highest-grossing videos of all time, he recently created the very first anatomically correct action figure ever modeled after an adult film star of any genre. It's called the official Jeff Stryker action figure. It's and huge. It's and it's ready for action. <laughs> Stryker tells us that the idea for the doll came to him after receiving numerous emails from fans wishing there was a full-sized replica of him out there for them to uh, play with. After some research, he realized that although the cost of, to create such a doll would prove far too costly, he could create a smaller version designed to be the uh, action figure above all action figures. This limited addiction took over a year to manufacture and no wonder when you realize how much care was taken to design it with exceptional uh, authenticity right down to his face, his body, and his course, boots. Yeah. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> um, each fully articulated feature uh, is everywhere, including the most important feature, uh, the penis, which we're told was likewise personally modeled to scale, and it means it's capable of popping one serious boner. It makes the perfect gift for collectors, not to mention a unique conversation piece or icebreaker. For instance, say there's this guy who you've been trying to uh, make without much results. Try bringing out old Jeff here and disarming the object of your erection with a loaded question or two like, if you were with Jeff Stryker right now, what would you want to do to him? Then have him show you, first on the doll, and then if you're smart, on you. Most guys love it when their partners show they've got a sense of fun and still in touch with their playful side. And this doll will help you demonstrate that in spades. Besides, let's be honest, all of us played with these uh, action figures as kids. It's practically some sort of prerequisite to growing up gay. Whether we'll admit it or not, for many of us, the secret salacious joy of those times has stayed with us. And this time, you needn't worry about any nosy family members knocking on the door and breaking in on you. Jeff comes dressed in your typical porn star chic, including jeans, a leather jacket, chrome and leather belt with matching armband. And we're even told his clothes are interchangeable with G.I. Joe and Ken which lets you live out all those secret, nasty, don't ask, don't tell fantasies that we've all had. Only now you can do it with such a well-endowed alternative like this. So watch out Billy and Carlos. This doll with the, is the doll with the enormous dick, as his creator calls him. Isn't just packing wood, he's packing a whole giant tree trunk. And is available now, uh, retailing for $59.95 and can be found at gay and adult gift stores everywhere or on the web via Stryker's own website www.jeffstriker.info Trust me, this is one package you'll want to unwrap long before Xmas, or in this case it makes it triple Xmas, and courtesy of our own pal Jonathan Weeks, yeah. we have the, also have the George Bush doll, mm -hmm. and you can play like this. You can play, yeah. Can Jeff Stryker will give our beloved president, who's wearing uh, uh, beautiful, stars, nice stars and stripes, Patriotic boxers, uh, will Jeff Stryker can do to George Bush, what George Bush has been doing to the rest of us. He's getting fucked like the economy. Anyways, George Bush, we love him getting have getting doing it right now here around here. I uh, love we love some George Bush. Um, thank you, Leo. I have to call for after tonight. <laughs> You uh, sure are. I for you to pray for this great nation. This great nation. And may God bless America. <laughs> yeah, God bless America. God bless America, everybody. God bless America. Good night. That was hard.
<laughs> Anyways, it's time for Game of Team Report, guys. It's that time of the night. Leo Buck is here. Did you got the new Team Report? Hey there, I'm Leo Buck. We're here to bring you the kind of entertainment news you're not going to find in the page of People Magazine or Entertainment Weekly as always. This last weekend, downtown Los Angeles was the place to be as we at Village TV had the pleasure of attending the city's very first Gay Erotic Expo Hollywood. held at the LA Convention Center for two days, September 21st and, uh, 20th and 21st. From 3 p.m. to midnight on Saturday and noon to 7 p.m. on Sunday, the center played host to over 75 booths representing the very best in gay adult adult video, DVDs, publications, websites, sites, leather, sex toys, and accessories. There are even a few health organizations like they were just talking about, like uh, L.A. Shanti, AIM Healthcare Hair, there I am, uh, to offer advice about safe sex and the importance of HIV testing. The event was actually part of a much bigger national tour, which organizers say fills a niche within the gay marketing events. For many interested in such specialty items, uh, the Expo provides a one-stop shopping, not to mention loads of fun like we got to have while looking everything over. For a mere $20, visitors were invited to shop, look, grope, cruise to their heart's content. In fact, there was enough, and I, I say this from experience, there was enough testosterone-packed eye candy to practically put a guy in a gay-induced sugar coma. Along with uh, the expected samples and giveaways, and boy, they were nice good giveaways and samples, salty flavored, many of the exhibitors also brought along special celebrity guests to greet the passers-by and post for autographs and sign autographs. Um, advocate men cover model Zeb Atlas, there he is, could be found signing pictures at the buygay.com booth, while Nathan Big Red Hamilton, there he is, was on hand over at the AIM Healthcare uh, exhibit, and Jet Set Productions trotted out their exclusive, who also happens to be one of the hottest guys, there he is, to ever undress in front of the camera. We got to meet him, uh, the sensational Tag Erickson. Hosted by our old pal, Will Clark, who flew in special from New York, uh, the expo also featured several special appearances by the likes of Jeff Stryker, Colton Ford, Jack Ryan, Bryce Pierce and Sam Tyson, who incidentally also celebrated his 29th birthday that weekend. In fact, um, one of the coolest things about the whole event was that while browsing through the aisles, you never knew just who you were going to come upon. I myself ran into uh, controversial super stud Jeff Palmer while I was uh, exploring the exhibit of our put on by our old friends at TLA Releasing. And that was just one of many unique booths. Um, Perhaps the most unique that I found was sponsored by the makers of the new life-sized and realistically hung male real doll. You've heard about the real doll from the Howard Stern show. Well, now they have a, a, a bull. The guy's incredible. Speaking of real dolls, Jeff Stryker also had a booth there promoting his own, uh, for his, uh, well, it was also promoting his country CD, but he also has just released a Jeff Stryker doll Perfect for those three ways with Barbie and Ken that you've always wanted to have. Now you got that uh, someone to satisfy them both. Um, for those on the East Coast, there still is another show state slated to take place in New York City on Sunday, October 12th, and, and Columbus Day, Monday, October 13th, at the historic Coca, Co sorry Copa Cabana nightclub. Um, Again, tickets are going to be priced at $20 for general admission with a special VIP pass good for both days for $125. For more information, check them out on the web at www.gayeroticexpo.com. And we can tell you right now, if it's even half as hot and sizzling as the one we experienced here in L.A., for that weekend uh, anyway, you're going to be calling the Big Apple the Baked Apple. I'm Leo Buck. Thank you very much. Yeah,